former OMB director under President Trump and Center for Renewing America president. Russ, thanks for joining us. You bet. Thanks for having me. So they say that this sudden turnaround last week, which took so many people by surprise, was all driven by science. Have you ever known science move so quickly? No, I have not. And unfortunately, this is, is the hallmark of this administration is the, the way that they have done a, a bureaucratic job of trying to come to grips with what the American people know to be the, the reality, which is if they're outside, there was never a need to, to be able to have a mask on in, in recent months, particularly in, in the, after they've had the vaccine. And unfortunately, the, 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 this has taken way too long for the Centers for Disease Control to come to that realization. Uh, and unfortunately, they still haven't gotten it right. We still have kids out there on soccer fields wearing masks when they shouldn't have to and they shouldn't need to. They have incredibly low risk uh, for getting the, the virus. And so uh, this is unfortunately more of the same with regard to this CDC and this administration. And as you say, Russ, we, you know, we've had incredibly mixed messages out of the CDC, especially from Dr. Wolensky. You know, at one point she talked about schools not being a risk and then she was pushed back in line and explained that schools are a risk. Uh, it, it, it all damages trust in what should be an institution in which Americans should have a lot of trust. CDC has lost a tremendous amount of trust and I believe it's because they have not adhered to the science more. Uh, even as early on in the administration where they were talking about a 14-day quarantine, that wasn't really based on science. That was based on anecdotes. And, and this has been an anecdotes based on press reports, Chinese news press reports. And you really start to dig into their, their science and it, it begins to crumble. And yet the American people look to them and, and people who are very concerned about this virus, legitimately so, they look to CDC as, as authoritative. And, and many people have, bought, have built their superstructure of faith on now masks and, and not being those other deplorables, as you said in your intro. And as a result, CDC has lost its, its ability to be an authoritative vo voice to this country. And again, do you, do you think, why do you think they came to that, the, the decision that they did last week? They say it was the science. What, what, what's, what's your hunch? You know, my hunch is that there was a lot of bad news going on in the country, uh, gas lines, and there was a national outcry. And, and it's this not the first national outcry that there has been on COVID. There was one as it pertains to school reopenings. And now they were seeing ones as a result of, of just the legitimacy of being able to go out there and, and having already been vaccinated and not have to wear a mask. And the American people scratching their heads saying, that's just not right. That's not common sense. And, they, and the administration knew they had a problem on their hand. It was amidst many other national problems going on, right? International problems as well. And I think they finally said, we got to move and we need to move quickly. And we don't really care whether uh, the CDC director just went to Congress. Just very briefly, Russ, because we got to go. But uh, President Biden was talking about this again today. He was asked about it again today. And he kept saying, um, uh, well, you know, you can wear a mask if you, have been, if you want. You can carry on wearing a mask. And he was asked this strange question about how do we, you know, how do we know? Do we have a sort of an honor system that people who haven't been vaccinated will wear a mask? But it seems to miss the point. That, it, that, that the only risk, if you're not vaccinated, is the risk to yourself. You're not posing a risk to someone who's been vaccinated. So, so why would you care? That's exactly right. And that's what we've been saying for many, many months now as conservatives and, and, and those who are looking at the science and the data and the real world is saying, you know, if you, if, if you, have a, if you are concerned, wear a mask. Uh, and I think that's the policy that we're hopefully going to see as businesses uh, begin to move in that direction as well. Russ, well, very good common sense advice. Thanks very much for joining us.